why is this film called Jupiter Ascending? Jupiter never ascends! Carry on. <laughs> I haven't seen you at this bar before. Are you new here? Welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm your host, John Maffio. What was that? What? Anyway, today's featured movie is Jupiter Ascending, the latest film from the Wachowski siblings. This film stars Mila Kunis, Channing Tatum, Sean Bean, and Eddie Redmayne, um, who was recently in the Stephen Hawking movie, which I really enjoyed. This movie's plot is about Mila Kunis' character who lives on Earth, and she does hard labor for a living, but unbeknownst to her, she's actually in the royal line in some other planet, and she is the next heir to the throne, but um, other people don't want that to happen, so they're attacking her and trying to kill her family, but then Channing Tatum, who is like the T-800 type character from Terminator 2, comes to try to protect her. And then there's a bunch of um, different families from different planets trying to collide with each other. It's like Game of Thrones, but in space. And it gets very convoluted and weird. And I'm starting to run words over my mouth. I'm not even explaining to myself. I'm not even making sense anymore with what I'm saying. And that's where I'm going to stop because Jupiter Ascending was so convoluted and weird. What happened in this movie? Getting the positives out of the way. The world that the Wachowskis created with this film is massive, beautiful, and majestic. It really creates this entire atmosphere from Earth, Jupiter, these other planets that look similar to Earth, and it's really mesmerizing, it really is. They spent a lot of money putting top-notch visual effects on this film, and it is a beauty to behold. I don't think there are any flaws when it comes to the visual and special effects with this film. Even though there are cartoony moments, it does look believable. The acting, for the most part, is good. Unfortunately, though, Eddie Redmayne, man, I love the guy, but... His performance in this movie was really weird! But along with his character and the choice of direction with his acting, I blame that more on the directing, misdirecting from the Wachowskis rather than the actors themselves, because obviously Eddie Redmayne is a very capable and compelling actor. Also, little nuances sprinkled within this ever-expanding universe are really interesting. The characters, the settings, there are these like King Koopa... Bowser dragon looking characters and they I mean even though they're underdeveloped and you don't really care about them as Antagonists they're really cool to look at but everything else as I'm about to get into Falters terribly you could spend millions and billions on making a movie look good and having top build actors but if your story your characters and ultimately direction aren't compelling then the film is still a dud, it's still doo-doo, no matter how much you spend. To be perfectly honest, I had no investment within any of the characters in Jupiter Ascending. Mila Kunis is the main character who you're supposed to really care for, aside from Channing Tatum. The both of them have a romance that brews too, which is a little convincing, but not that convincing, and it also seems a little bit forced when it didn't have to be there at all, but love. But to tell you the truth, if I was a girl and my protector was Channing Tatum and he was a dog, and I... I kind of would probably fall in love with him too. When it comes down to the meat and bones, you have to care about the characters, even if the story is convoluted. And you don't even care about the characters because Mila Kunis is just running around and she doesn't have much of a personality, to be honest. Like, you're supposed to care about her being the next heir to the throne for her royal family in the universe and you don't care what happens to her. And there's no emotional weight to what she's doing or what is going on around her either. The action sequences, as visually stunning and inventive as they may seem, they don't really bring anything because you don't care about the characters, ultimately. I admire the directing by the Wachowskis to make a really bold and ambitious film, as they usually always try to do, but as ambitious as a film could be, it doesn't matter if you don't care about the characters in the story, as I keep mentioning. You really don't care. They try to explain a lot, and there's a lot of exposition with these families, these aliens, this, the planets, everything, because Mila Kunis is new to all this, so you're learning everything through her eyes. You have more interest in things going on outside of what's going on in the actual story. And unfortunately, you never get really much out of what you're actually interested in. You're actually just getting more exposition on things that seem useless. When you're trying to create a new vast universe, where audiences have no idea what this universe entails, you want to do it in an organic way. Star Wars did it right. Recently, Guardians of the Galaxy did it right. 
but this movie does way too much, and it's going to polarize audiences. It, it polarized myself as a viewer, because at some point, I just went, fuck it, why bother even listening anymore? I don't, I'm not invested. I looked forward to this movie, I was looking forward to it, I was excited, because of the cast, the directing, the potential story, but Jupiter Ascending was kind of a dud. I did not enjoy it. I would not watch it again. I would recommend it for the visual effects and some of the story elements that could have potentially been awesome. The only thing great that came out of this movie unintentionally that was hilarious was the performance by Eddie Redmayne as this guy who has really low tempos. And it suddenly gets really loud! Jupiter Ascending is a 1.5 out of 5 stars. I don't have a label for that rating, so I'm just going to call it a what. Because when you watch this movie, you may enjoy the characters, you may enjoy the visual effects, you may enjoy aspects about it, but in the end, you're going to be like... What? Now on to the right or wrong predictions. I said... I think the movie is going to be flat out... Okay. Not great, not bad, just whatever. Turns out, I'm one for two now. And you guys in the comment section get to choose how I'm punished on the next review, which will be Fifty Shades of Grey. Don't make me do anything sexual, please. But I also want to know from you guys, what do you think of Jupiter Ascending if you've seen it? Let me know anything about it in the comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Mothman Jones, so you'll never miss a video from me ever again. Also, comment below again, what should my punishment be for wrongly predicting how I was going to feel about Jupiter Ascending? As long as it doesn't involve putting anything up my butthole, good. Also, check out Facebook and Twitter in the info box. I'm John Mafio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time!